hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this product package design into this let's check the intro Decography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good morning guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing great this morning I want to show you how you can make a product, uh, uh, product uh, package in your Android smartphone. Now you can design a product package and how you can present it on a markup. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The first thing to do is to determine the background size. So you go to the size area. That's the first thing that you need to know. So I'm setting this to 1255 you can say by 2150 2150 you should see that it is 1255 by 2150 and this is how it will look like after that go to the background and select the background color of your choice so for instance i want to maintain this so after that the next thing to do is to go to my gallery import all the necessary things I want to use. So, for instance, I'm bringing this in. So, bring this in, and you, 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 you are going to make it fitting. Go to the color area, then you select the color of your choice. So, for instance, I'm using this color. You can reduce how deep you want it to be. So, I want it to be something like this. So, let me reduce it a bit too. So I we'll have something like this. Okay, good. After that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to my shape. Then select this particular shape. Sorry, this shape. Then after that, we're going to give it the same color. Then I'm going to the stroke and give it something like that. Let's say four. Then go to the color and change the color. Change the color of that stroke make it five click ok then we can check and see how it look so we'll have something like this and now uh, it's okay but we'll go to the, the stroke cancel the stroke give it outside stroke something like this okay. if you look at it it should be okay um we can we can actually change the color of that stroke not to make it deeper so make it like this check okay so after we are able to do that we can see this where we select we apply stroke okay do it like this so we can now increase the size to our taste something like this after increasing the size we have a position here so let it come from here so it has to be close reduce the size a bit so position it around here okay okay so it's cool like this so now now that we have that we go to the shape the opacity should be zero then you make your stroke to be something like five then uh, our radius should be something like this yeah so we have something like that so we need this just crop and position just as this let it go in You make it go in like that. If possible, let it go in like this. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
so it's plumb like that then we'll go to radius uh, radius 28 is okay then our stroke should be something like four four should be okay then uh oh, four three let's say four then uh then make it a color to be deeper or we'll go to the stroke make it deeper so we'll, we'll click okay and it's absolutely okay like that arrange properly arrange it properly then let this come down okay okay move it to one side like this okay okay so the next thing we're going to do Going here with our right top, we we'll have a chili, chili powder. Go to the font. I'm going to choose baby weather, baby weather font. So we'll see them. You can actually get this on the, uh, on Google. Just type baby weather. So we'll position this here. You can go there, not choose the one that boot, you choose the one that is not boot. So we we'll have like a Meriwether regular, Meriwether light. So let's use Meriwether light. Then we'll have to reduce the size to make it fitting inside the shape. Okay. After positioning it, we will give it the desired color. Let me be deeper red. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. So the next thing we need to do, we need to just fit. We fit this. So for instance, we're going to fit. Go to obesity. Have a fit just as this. Fit it. Okay. 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 Let's have a fridge like that. Then after um, after making that, we go back to gallery. Sorry, go back to gallery where we print this. Okay. So we bring it in. Just make it to be like that first. Then we we'll hide and lock. Then we we'll go to the shape. Pick a circle shape. Increase. Change the color to be able to put it just a bit different to it. Then we are going to make it this way. Go to the stroke, something like four. Change the color so that it can show. Say something like five. Click OK. Let's see. It's not really obvious. Go there and increase to something like ten until we are able to. Or we can. We have another way to do that, but it just continue. So it shows around 25. So now, after showing that, we can spread just to make it look like this. Then we'll be able to position it very well. So let's like just have it this way. So after positioning this way, the next thing we're going to do. We have this. Then we can we can unhide this. Bring it to the front. You can see. We we'll bring it to the front. Then we can we can actually increase the size by locking this. Then we we'll increase the size and reposition. So so we we'll have it just as this. Very cool. Okay, okay, position that there. Then to make it obvious, we'll give a stroke to this. Something like uh, let's just give a stroke to this. Or if it is not necessary, we are going to know. So let's just leave it like this. Now, 
And the next thing we're going to do, we go to the text area where we have 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. Then we're going to use the font that will better. That will better this. So let's use uh, 100 percent. It should be okay. Then we'll go to the color. We give it a white color. After giving a white color, we go to this and uh, have a position very well. Before then, we can change the font absolutely, absolutely. So by giving different font, I will be able to showcase that. Maybe checking the we need the long font. I'll be able to. So this should be okay. So we re reduce the size and have it. Uh, Position very well to give positions. We have something like this. Okay, then we copy and type natural 100% natural. So, having this, we can just maneuver this here. As you can see, we we'll maneuver it here. Okay, cool. But we'll need to increase the size to be bigger than to be bigger than the. Uh -oh. The alphabet so we have 100 percent then let's reduce this because of hierarchy okay so we'll position it now the next thing to do is to choose a boot okay it's cool cool and done so we we'll, we'll, we'll arrange and make sure and centralize. Let there be no space in between them. Okay. So this one is now top. So the next thing we need to do, we go to and just copy. Then we will have net weight. Net weight. Net weight. And that is the uh, Let's say 250. Let's say 250 gram. So we're going to position that here to make it. So when you look at it, very good. But uh, we can name it. Change. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button Thank and the bell icon. something here something I'm using so we'll go to natural and the natural will bring it down just a bit then we'll go back to our gallery where we'll have something of this nature so you can see so I want to do something here go to user I want to use something away so we'll have this so having this, I want to just make this. Just copy. 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 Okay, cool. Cool. So now have it saved. 
so right now let's head into what we want to present the markup so let's present the new markup for the package let's see okay so now this is our photo page you come to your chrome browser so i'm getting here you go to www.photopea.com so this is the interface i'm getting the just tap on open from computer click on file looking where you have the markup so look at it you tap on this so you will see the mock-up link at the description of this video after getting it you see it will look faster you go to the layer tap on the layer your design here double click then add the design on top of it click on the layer to be back scroll down if necessary tap on the file open click open and place click on the file as well locate where you have your mock-up so right now let's find the design we make so i'm looking for the design right now go to your pixeler tap on the design and allow it to load now you see everything fitting since we choose the right size then you can scroll down to view everything lay very well now go to the file click save with smart objects after tapping you see smart object updated click on this plastic pouch then you see the results everything come out now the next thing you need to do you can change the color background let's see how we can change that so we'll go to the background area tap here so tap here it will take you to the color uh, uh, bucket so on getting there you can choose the color of your choice depend on how you want it so to take it for instance i want to choose uh, this particular color I want to choose this particular color i will just tap ok then you see everything change and this seem cool compared to the previous one though in uh, colors psychology of color you will place a light color on the deep background or you place a deep color on a light background so it will plumb like that so let's see whether we can still amend or added another uh, 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 added another things there so take it for instance you position this here so after making it that way then we tap ok because we choose the color so this is absolutely cool now we've done with everything click on the file then you look at where we have an export export as png then you tap on it you wait for results you see save you wait for it because it takes a little time to load remember you know my tutorial i told you there is something called buffer which normally hold an information before it becomes processing so after getting this you tap on save then you see download you can open to see the result and as you can see this is the result of what we just did very very cool so this is just a simple way on how you can make a product package design on your android smartphone using your pc lab and how you can present it on a markup. Thanks for watching. I believe we all learned something today. If you are a new subscriber, consider subscribing and click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel with a new video like this. And if you are a subscriber, please kindly share, like, and comment. And don't forget as well to turn on your notification bell icon so that you won't miss any amazing tutorial like this. Thank for watching and God bless you. If you have any prob problem in using the markup, I'm going to paste at the description of this video. Don't hesitate to DM me. God bless you.